Um, so clearly we've said that we're interested in the new form factors, phones, tablets, TVs. We've, we've shown the TV, we've seen the desktop interface. We will in due course um, show the phone and the tablet Unity Ubuntu experiences as one coherent family. Um, and there's a lot of innovation that goes into developing and designing those, those experiences as one coherent family. We believe we've, we've led the world there. Um, the desktop, you know, a lot of the rest of the world is saying, well, the desktop's boring, the desktop's not interesting. But, but, but we believe the desktop is what most of us use most of the day. Um, and so there's still, and there's still a lot of room for innovation there. So we've done a couple of things. We focused on design and user experience of the, of the shell. We focused on bringing um, uh, personal cloud services to the desktop. We were the first in Ubuntu to have personal cloud services fully integrated into the operating system, ahead of Apple, ahead of Microsoft, ahead of uh, the, the, you know, the competition. Um, and we focused on bringing uh, aspects of these new form factors, the mobile form factors, into the, into the desktop. So overlay scroll bars and, uh, and so on. Um, but there are other areas where we can innovate as well. And the HUD is an example of us saying, um, looking at, at the desktop experience and saying, here's an interaction pattern which, which has many good things about it, it's well understood, but it's also slow and awkward in certain ways. Um, and it doesn't map to a world where people are using new software applications every day. They, they, they're changing software applications uh, much faster today than they did uh, 15 years ago. 15 years ago, you know, you had to go down to the store and buy software and then come home and install it. There's a lot of friction and you wouldn't do that very often. Today, we're getting software every day. New software is on and off every day. So we, 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 it, it's worth our while to explore new in user interface paradigms. Um, so we looked at the menus. Um, and that's where we started with the HUD. The HUD will go much further than just menus. Um, it's completely complementary, so menus aren't going away. Um, we think that if we, if we really can innovate with the HUD the way we believe we can innovate with the HUD, that you'll never use menus, and so one day in future, if they disappear, you won't notice. Um, but they'll probably always be around. Um, mainly, we want to focus on, on helping people get what they want to get done, done quickly. And there, there are two stories there. One is um, heavy users, you know, if you're a heavy user of a digital video editing um, or the GIMP or if you're a programmer and you, you're a heavy user of um, multiple terminal windows and the console and so on, we want to make you more productive in that professional kind of context. The other is the, more, is, is the other end of the spectrum. It's, it's a very lightweight user who is just trying out an app and doesn't want to have to learn everything about the app, doesn't want to have to map out the whole functionality of the app, they just want to try and get something done. And the HUD really is, is the first bit of user interface innovation we've seen that addresses both of those opposite spectrums in, in, in a very nice way. It, it, what, what, what's shipping in 1204 with the HUD is a, is a first cut just to signal the intent and to, and to open it up so that other people can innovate around it as well. Um, but this is a real area of research, it's super exciting. We, we've had contacts from um, user interface researchers from all of the major companies, from Microsoft through Google, and they're all fascinated by it. They think it's really powerful. So, uh, so we're very proud of that work, and we're very proud, again, that it's available first as free software.